Welcome to our mini video lesson. Today, we'll be learning about the past tense, or the past tenses. In English, there are three different ways of talking about the past. The simple past, present perfect, and past perfect. These tenses are so important, you'll find them in all of our grammar courses. We have lots of lessons on them in our Stella classes at all the levels, and also our Booster AGR courses. These past tenses are my favourite thing to teach in grammar because they show how tiny grammatical changes make a huge difference. So just by changing small words in a sentence, you can make us understand exactly when something happened. Because this is one of my favourite grammar topics, I'm going to take you on an amazing trip today to teach you all about it. I've got so many good things planned, I just need to get my keys first. Back. Oh no. So I'm going to teach you all about the past tenses with my lost keys. Even though we can't go on an amazing trip, you will still learn all about the past tenses. So there are three past tenses if you remember simple past, present perfect, and past perfect. The simple past is the first one that we learn. It's for things that are definitely at an exact time in the past. So, I lost my keys yesterday. I know exactly when it was, but I still don't know where my keys are. I lost my keys yesterday. I lost my keys last week. We can also put things in the simple past if it's a completed action that's definitely over. So, somebody might ask me, Miss Willow, why did you move house? Because I lost my keys. I moved house in the past. I lost my keys in the past. Those keys are gone. The easy way to see the difference now when we go to present perfect is, I still care about my keys if I'm using the present perfect. I have lost my keys. I have lost them. I'm still worried about them. I'm looking everywhere for them. So, Miss Willow, why couldn't you get into your house? Because I have lost my keys. I lost them in the past, but I can't get into my house in the present. That's the simple past for things that are definitely done in the past. The present perfect for things that are from the past but connect to the present. And then the last one is the past perfect. And we learn it last so we don't get confused, but it's actually the easiest one. And it's when we're talking about something in the past and we want to go even further into the past. So, yesterday I tried to open my door. I'm in the simple past because it's yesterday. I tried to open my door but I couldn't because I had lost my keys before that thing in the past. So now we know all about the different past tenses and how we can think about them using my keys. Oh, and don't worry, 